And I pray, may the people of Zambia first look at me and see that if you believe in God, let me also take this opportunity mm. to thank my parents who brought me up. Me, I was born and brought up in Kamchanga in Frida. Kamchanga is a combo like, like Vibala and Kabwata. We were living in a three-bedroom house. Mm. The way I was living in prison, Chinkupituabandu, Nachidiva, us, we used to move from our beds on the floor. It didn't matter where I slept. My mind just switched. In fact, if you can give me this opportunity, I'll show you what, I will, what God made me do. Mm. Everybody in prison were knitting because that's one of my hobbies. Mm. The bottom line, I thank God that I've come out alive. There is a debate going on right now um, in, in, in general public uh, where people are debating, say, possibly you are going to sue the state for possible, you know, rewards for having been, you know, hmm. incarcerated. As I told you earlier, that we haven't even discussed with my lawyers. Mm. I will leave it, you know, my lawyers are. Maybe contact them so that they can speak to you. Legal things me I cannot talk about. For me, even money is not important. Mm. For me, the important thing is for me to be back home. I see my husband. We are going into 53. I even thank God that I'm 53. My husband is older than me. We need each other. I've got grandchildren. For me, that's what is important. On those legal matters, you mm. ask my lawyers. They'll be able to guide you. How much support did you get from your husband in your absentia from home? If I didn't have a God-fearing man, I think I don't know what I was even going to find here. You Zambian men, you're not trusted. You could have even married. But my husband... As I've always said, I tell you young people that they should emulate my husband. He has been there for me throughout. Mm. Through, throughout. You know, I sent uh, some outfits which I made in prison for my grandchildren for their independence day. When they arrived, he sent a message. He said, ah, my other name is Chirofia. Mm. You just said Mumbi Josephine. My other name is Josephine. I said, Josephine, darling, me, I stopped thinking. He stopped thinking because I was in prison. The other thing which has kept him going, all of you, especially you young people, get close to God. My husband is very prayerful. Get close to God. Even admiring somebody, a girlfriend, when you're married, you will not do that. Because God will guide you. I don't know. You know, when I was, we were still in power, I could tell people that I, let me apologize. Those who will not feel good when I talk about my husband. Mm. Feel, I, I apologize. I have a perfect husband who came from my God and he stood by me. Let me take you back to the legal aspect, which of course you are not preview or we are not sure whether to comment or not because uh, there's a team which is actually handling this matter altogether. But again, based on what is going on right now in the country, and um, there is also a comment that came from the Minister of Justice, uh, Hone Bomlambo Haimbe, who said, uh, I think Zambians, we are being unfair if you begin to condemn the UPND administration over this matter of our mother, Mother Mumbi Piri, in that uh, you should be able to ask yourself these questions as to why this matter was not prosecuted in the first place. So I'll ask you this question direct, ma'am. Why didn't your, your administration, you were a very powerful individual at the time, you also served as a, as, as a member of parliament, why didn't you make sure that this matter is prosecuted when she, uh, Lawrence Banda was murdered? Was I a minister of justice? 
you were Where a leader was, in the PF okay, administration. I was on the party side. Mm. And tell Honorable Aimbe that he should concentrate on what is happening. You know, in Mongo prison where I was, the youngest inmate there is 10 years old. That 10-year-old has been accused of killing a man. And what happened? This man was beating the mother. This man was beating the mother. The mother cried for help. This 10-year-old came with a knife and stabbed that man in the neck and he instantly died. As I was leaving Mongo prison, that boy was still there. If this is a government of laws, why is another eight-year-old who shot his friend, why has he been taken to social welfare? The other one is in prison. Is that justice? And the mother is also in prison. There is another girl mm. whom I was with. Yes, she beat up the son. She has been jailed for five, five years. Leaving three children, the eldest is 12, the second one is uh, nine, and the last one is seven. The seven-year-old is a disabled child. This 12-year-old puts this child on the back. She's the one who is looking after this child. Ask Mlambo Aimbe, why did they forget? Why didn't they uh, take amnesty on the 25th of December? Nobody came out 